<sighs> Hello YouTube. My name is Sharia. This is the Sharia Mag channel where I am documenting my debt-free journey in hopes to build wealth and retire early or become work independent. If you are new here, welcome to my channel. And if you are subscribing, a subscriber or a returning viewer, thank you so very much for coming. Welcome back. For all my new viewers and subscribers, I encourage you to go back and look at this video. It is my debt confession and it tells you exactly where I started, but for a real quick recap, I started in $335,000 worth of debt. I'm currently sitting around $322,000 worth of debt alone. However, in the caption, you see that I am adding about $27,000 worth of debt. And if you're wondering what in the world, we'll get into that. But before we do, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please consider doing so. I would really appreciate it. I have a goal of reaching 500 subscribers by the end of June. I'm not even sure if this video will make it out by the end of June. It may be the 1st of July. Scratch that. If you are new here and you have not, and you are interested in following this long journey, make sure you subscribe. It's free, so why not? And if you have already subscribed, I really appreciate it. Your support means the world to me. I could not, I would not be here if it was not for you. Um, I think I have some shout outs, but I don't remember. I know one is Megan with her Courage to Plan. She recently reached 1,000 subscribers and she even shouted me out as a video, as a channel to watch. So thank you, girl. I appreciate that and congratulations to you. We'll get right into how I have added 20 some thousand dollars worth of debt. Stay tuned. So, here you see my debt tracker. This is one of the principles that will be available in my Etsy shop. Um, so, it just has debt tracker. It has my start date. It did have a space for an end date, but because I have no idea of when that date will be, I took that part off, but I can add it, or you can add it, or however. This is my current snowball and my current snowball is $417 monthly. And just to explain, my current snowball is based solely off of what I can pay, what I would be able to pay just from my full-time income. I, in case you are not aware, I do have one full-time job as an on-call social worker and two part-time jobs. All my part-time income is either going into debt or savings. And so it's, it is, I do use it towards my debt snowball, but well, any of, in, in these times, any job could get rid of you, get rid of you at the blink of an eye. But I just consider my full-time income to be more stable and my part-time income to be less stable. And so most of it, most like, 98.99% of my part-time income goes towards debt, but I do not include that as a, as part of my snowball payment because it could be here today and gone tomorrow. So could my full-time job, but you know. Um, so uh, my four my snowball is 417 monthly, and that this is the breakdown. So the 230 because some of my payments were coming out twice a month and then some of my payments were only monthly. So we'll get into it. This is exactly where I started at the beginning of this year. And so you guys don't get ahead of me. So I started off with four credit cards. TJ Maxx was one of them. Um, and that had a balance. This was lingering Christmas debt. And I had ran the credit card up $432.28 and I paid it off in January. That was the interest rate and the minimum payment was $35. Um, 
Tech, some people, you know, because I was able to pay it all off in the month of January, some people take this whole amount and include that as the snowball. I just felt kind of funny about doing that because the reason I was able to do this was because of it actually came from one whole part-time paycheck. So I didn't include it. Then Target, I was also able to pay that off. That was also lingering last minute Christmas debt. Because what happened was my son had an iPad. He broke the screen. <sighs> the only thing he asked for for Christmas was to get the iPad screen fixed. We took it to some repair shop here. And he promised he would have it done by Christmas. Then he didn't have it done by Christmas. Then he hurried up and fixed it on Christmas Eve or the day before Christmas Eve. But then he broke the screen, so like it would light up, but it wouldn't come on. So me and my husband rushed out to Target and got my son a bigger iPad. He actually had an iPad mini. So that came up to $234.37. Um, I also paid that off in January, and that minimum payment was $28. And so this is where, so then my next Target debt became my credit credit union account. And at the beginning of January, I had $27.73.24. The minimum payment at that time was probably $89. And I believe I broke it down into two payments of $49. But eventually, I think by March, the minimum payment had gotten down to $49. And I continued to pay that monthly, twice a month. Partly because in the beginning of March, that's when the whole pandemic you know start going really heavy in the united states and things were we were going into isolation or um um quarantine i'm sorry we were going into quarantine and i had at the moment considered stop paying debt and to save but i was just going to pay my monthly minimums twice a month so when i around april when i felt like my job was pretty secure and I actually wasn't going to lose any money or any hours or anything like that. I decided to go back to paying debt aggressively, but I kept the bi-monthly payments. And so this balance, this snowball amount of 161 includes the $49 two times a month plus the $35 and the $28. So then when I paid that off in April, when I got my stimulus package, I moved that snowball to here, Best Buy. Best Buy had a lower balance, but it had a promotional um, interest-free time period. And so I think over 12 months, if I paid it off in 12 or 18 months, I would not have any interest. So that's why the credit union account continued to be the target debt although this balance was low and this actually was my ipad because i had decided to start this channel and i could not afford a macbook my computer was not compatible my work computer was not compatible with my iphone and so i went out and got an ipad to do all my editing and stuff so then that bought my debt snowball up to 261 and so my next tart and that was paid off in may so in May, I don't remember the exact day, but if you follow me on Instagram, you I announced it there. Um, I became credit card debt free. So my tar my next target debt was gonna be my 401k loan, but then a couple of videos ago, I talked about how I called to get the balance for Charlie because originally I was gonna pay Charlie off in September. But I called and like the balance was still very high. It was like 2108. I had had them for like almost, I had them since September and I was paying 132 a month, but 136 a month, but only like a couple of hundred dollars, like literally a couple of hundred dollars had come off the balance. So I was like, oh no, you got to go. So, um, I paid Charlie off and I included that in the last video, um, a clip of my congratulations, you have cleared out this loan, blah, 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 blah. So I paid Charlie off in, at the beginning of this month, not even last month. So then my 401k loan was then going to become my, um, 
target that, but my husband noticed what great progress I was making with budgeting and getting out of debt. And so he decided that he would like to combine income. And so he is going to get his checks directly deposited in it's a joint checking account because we had combined income before we even got married, like in our early 20s when we moved in together and moved into a house before we purchased our house. And I didn't know anything about budgeting and I was taking all of our money, his money and my money, and I was paying all the bills and we wouldn't have money for groceries. We wouldn't have money. I mean, we would have money for gas, but like he would like to shop and he likes to buy, you know, he jumps on deals and all of that other stuff and he would never have the money because the money would never be there. And so we decided we weren't doing that anymore, but his name stayed on the account because all my money was already, all like my paychecks were being directly deposited into the account. So I kept the account, but his money, he opened his own checking account. He just kept his name on my account. So it's kind of unfair because he can always see how much money I make, but I can never see how much money he makes because, I mean, I see his check stubs, but like I don't have access to his money like he has to mine because his name is on the account that I put my checks in. But needless to say, we have decided, well, really he decided and I said, okay, but he decided that he would like to combine incomes because he feels like, oh, okay, you've been making such great progress. We could probably make even greater progress if we put our money together in eliminating some of our eliminating the debt so here you will see that the next target debt is his chase credit card so he has credit card debt which i was completely unaware of um so he we are adding he has a chase credit card and that this is the balance 16 45 69 and that is the next target debt and so we will add that 16 45 69 and then he has another credit he has a state employees credit card and that is in the amount of 23 $21.86. 86 and then he has a mortgage and the mortgage is currently sitting at this is for his investment property and that's sitting at 23,122 TM. So a total of $27,000 um, is being added or combined, not added, it's not really added to my debt, but we're combining our debt and our total debt because mine is now sitting at like $323. But a couple of things. First, the Chase credit card debt will be paid off this month. Um, we already made a payment of $578. And then um, when we get paid, we'll just, we, I feel very strongly that we'll get that paid off. I'm actually gonna do a debt, target debt payment plan um, in a coming up video for July. Then uh, I, I feel like we could really knock both of these out in July, but because we are combining income for the first time, you know, I know that I have 21, about 2000, 2000 to $2,500 worth of income to um throw towards debt but i hate to uh commit to that amount because we're combining income and some of our expenses will increase for one you know i don't well i guess i'll talk all of, talk about all of that in our budget video but um it's hard to say exactly how much we will be working with when it comes to debt only because um i think he he says he has about a thousand dollars to play with um every month but until i actually like women lie men lie numbers don't lie so until i see it that you know i'm just this is what i feel like we're working with but i do have a plan that this will definitely be paid off by the end of july if not by mid-july 
And then the next debt will be his credit, his state employee's credit card. And then will come my 401k loan, which I really hate um, because I really want to knock that out. But, you know, I do believe that we will make much more progress when we put our, when we combine our incomes. Um, I have been watching a couple of other YouTubers. Her Courage to Plan um, budgets both her and her husband income. Um, the Intentional Dollar budgets both her and her husband's income. And I just found another one. Shay Budgets does a good job. And I found another one. I cannot think of her name. I just discovered her today, though. Um, but I've been watching their videos, their budgets, and just trying to get a feel of how to come up with a good budget for me and my husband together. One thing is um, he gets paid every week, and so that's going to be an adjustment, um, budgeting his checks weekly. Thing about it is, though, I also get paid every week. Um, my pay periods from my part-time job fall opposite weeks of my paychecks from my full-time and my consulting gig so um i'm interested to see how that's gonna play out anyhow so once we get chase out of the way this coming month july um we will move down to the credit union credit card i feel strongly that that will be it'll take maybe two months to get that out of the way and then that will so july august september the only reason I think it'll take two months is because August, you know, the kids go back to school if they're going back to school. If they are going back to school, although we have some um, money in the sink, we have a sinking, a back to school sinking fund for them. I still, you know, don't want to make a bit, a huge commitment to for our money because we just never know. You know, we have one junior, two rising um, sophomores, and then I still haven't really decided if my son is going back to the charter school, if he's going to another school. So that is part of my hesitation. Anyhow, so I'm thinking we'll have the credit union credit card paid off by September, and then that will leave October, November, December, because I want to have this 401k loan gone by the end of the year, but that would have me, just based on how much it is right now, um, 8503 divided by three. Whoa. Um, <laughs> I don't know if that is gonna make it. I do know like $150 goes towards it. So 150 times three is 450. So 8503 minus 450 divided by three. Mm, it didn't do much. So I don't know if it'll be done by the end of this year but that would be the goal that would be my optimal goal you know i do realistic and then i do optimal so that having my 401k loan paid off by december 31st 2020 would be my optimal goal because i really want to get into my 401k loans um starting 2021 that was a goal for me that I set out so that is where we are I'm sure you guys probably thought I went out and purchased a car but no I'm still driving my 2014 Honda Accord with the windshield crack and now my passenger window does not work from my side but the passenger can still roll it down and roll it up but I don't care I'm gonna keep right on driving that car do not see myself getting into any type of credit, I mean, car debt, credit card debt, personal loan debt. I don't see myself doing any of it because my goal is to get out of debt and retire early or become work independent. So, I'm going to pick you guys back up and we'll go from there. So, that is what I'm working with as far as the debt snowball. Our debt snowball together is 417 for the month of June. Um... It's a good idea that you track, you know, your debt snowball as well as your debts. I know this is just an overview. I really do want to start doing like a monthly 
tracker just to see exactly how much I have paid off just to be able to go back and look like um it's surprising to me to see that I paid off Charlie in the amount of two thousand one hundred and eight dollars for June and I still made a six hundred and seventy five dollar um, mortgage principal payment that's another change to my journey is I will stop making mortgage principal payments um to focus on this remaining debt because right now um that is a total so if i just pay off my 401k loan 1645 69 plus 2321.86 that's a total of twelve thousand dollars twelve thousand four hundred and seventy dollars and fifty five cent that would need to be paid by the end of this year and so i have my goal my mortgage principal goal i think i discussed it at the beginning of this year on my youtube channel was to pay a thousand dollars monthly or to pay at least ten thousand dollars towards the principal well as of today um i started january my mortgage was one hundred fifteen thousand six eighty one and it is at 105 even so i have met my goal to pay ten thousand dollars on the principal um so i'm no longer gonna pay any principal mortgage principal payments because right now the priority is to get him out of the credit card debt and to get this 401k loan out of the way i may consider going back to it in january but um if we're gonna pay anything on any principal it makes more sense to pay mortgage principal payments on his investment property so that when it starts to rent out we can fully um, use that money like that money can come back into our budget so um that is where we're at comment down below if you track your debt snowball and how often you do your debt snowball updates i do watch some people who do it monthly like Lashawn lifestyle i think tracks does a monthly debt snowball update um i don't do it monthly i do it like every other month. I am actually getting ready to do um, my debt balance update just because I want to see how much of debt I paid off before we combine um, our debts. So if you have watched thus far, thank you so very much for watching. Please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe if you have not done so. Subscribing is free. And do remember that this indeed is a journey. It's your journey and it's a journey, not a destination. I will catch you guys in the next one, probably in the same shirt because this is a batch recording day and I need to get them all out before I head back to work on Wednesday. Catch you in the next one. Bye.